two weeks in October. All right, Taurus love life. Please give us the energy of Taurus's love life for the first two weeks in October. Taurus, what's in store for you? Well, this card wanted to, to pop out. All right, it's the Sage of Swords. So this card indicates that there is wisdom, like the judge, okay? This shows the Sage of Swords, meaning that this is a wise man of great intellectual capacity who's sitting in judgment and will make decisions about his love life based on what he learns. He wants to know the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So I like that energy. It is a good way to start. Honesty is the best. All right, let's look and see what the next card is for Taurus in your love life. Taurus in your love life. Taurus, okay. Wow, okay, we have the Man of Wands. So this is a very sexy energy, and he's holding his wand, and it shows that he looks great in uniform. Don't you love a man in uniform? They look good. So what this means, though, is that this is a person uh, for Taurus. This is the energy that you are either uh, attracting this month, um, is maybe a sexy police officer, and or that also indicates it could be your energy. So when we look at the Man of Wands, we're looking at somebody who is a person who is action-oriented. This is a, a person who leaps into... Uh, spaces and places where others fear to tread. This is a very courageous person. Oftentimes it represents police officers and firemen and people of action, athletes, very sexy people, actors, and also sort of very like the popular kid. So that's what you're coming into. That's what you're attracting in terms of other people. Let's look and see now because you are, you do demand, you have a high level of um, requirement for honesty. And the King of Wands or Man of Wands, as is known, is a person who is well developed, who is a person who's capable of telling the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. All right, Nine of Cups, you want to be happy. You will be happy. I love this energy. It says that you will do a lot of socializing this month. Go to parties, go to weddings, go to place where, places where people gather. You are going to find love because the Nine of Cups is a card of eat, drink, and be merry. But when we look at love and relationships, the more cups, the more love. So the more you get out and socialize in places where people like to have adult beverages. Uh, the more quickly you will find your happiness. It also is a card that's kind of happy-go-lucky. You don't really feel necessarily the need to settle down right away with a significant other. It just shows that you're willing to take your time and find the right person. All right, so let's look at the energy, the next energy for you. We're going to pull out here. I do a 10-card spread. All right, so Taurus, what is, let's give us more energy for Taurus's love life. What do we need to know about Taurus's love life that we can share? Taurus and their love life. Taurus and their love life. Taurus and their love life. Okay, let's see here. The hanged man, all right. You're looking at things a little bit differently. It shows that you're trying to look at love from the perspective of possible suitors and how they would perceive you. So it shows that you are the Sage of Swords, which is a mature person. And this shows that you really want to possibly attract a younger person. So you're taking a look at what you bring to the table and what it could mean to the people that you would like to attract into your life. Okay. The hanged man also means that you will not make any decisions quickly, that you will take your time. Right now, you're giving a lot of thought and consideration to what it is that you want that will make you happy, and you're willing to look at things from the perspective of others, which also is the sage of 
um, swords because that is, again, the judge sitting on the bench. Intellectual energy, using logic, using uh, your intellect to figure out what's going to work for you and for your partner. Um, it shows that when you're in the hanged man position, you definitely know that you need to look at things from another's perspective. All right. The Youth of Cups. Well, if you want to attract somebody younger, this shows a very, very sentimental, sweet, a younger person. And they usually wear their heart on their sleeve. Uh, they like intuition. They have a soft heart. They love everything that's emotional. And it's not an accident that this person is sitting by the ocean, listening to a shell, listening to their intuition. They follow their heart. They follow other uh, intuition in terms of choosing a partner. All right, so let's look at the energy uh, coming in. More energy, please, and information on the love life for Taurus. Wow, the world card. So you are in a situation where you just closed out a cycle of your life in which you had a lot of uh, success. You had a lot of gratification. So oftentimes this means when you pull the world card that you are finished working on a project, you've received a promotion that you've spent a lot of time working on, you've manifested something in your life at a mundane level that you really, that took some time. So now that this wonderful cycle of success is closing out, it's time to start a new focus and your new focus is relationships. So this is really great. It shows that you've manifested and it also shows that you're bringing that manifestation or the power of manifesting uh, from one area of your life into another area. So that's how we find your love life. You're well suited to make good decisions to manifest what you like. All right, let's see now. And Taurus is ruled by the planet Venus and Venus loves luxury, loves beautiful things, loves love, loves to be sentimental. Um, you like things that are stable. Taurus is very stable, you're a fixed sign. And you rule the second house, which is money. So you like to have money. You're not a person who likes to take a cheap vacation. You want to go and stay at a five-star hotel. So it shows a lot of manifestation for you recently. Let's take a look and see what that's going to mean as a cycle, a new cycle is opening here in your love life. What kind of abundance? Okay, Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands, this can mean literally flight. It can mean traveling to a vacation. It, remain, it, it indicates red hot passion because Wands are the energy in which people are very passionate. They feel very strongly about what they believe in. They have very fixed ideas. You have very fixed ideas about what's right and wrong. You're willing to enforce that. Um, so you, you really are looking for someone who can match you in passion, enthusiasm, energy, and spark. You love life, and so you always make the best of it. Carpe diem could be your uh, outcry for each day. Carpe diem, you really always make the best of every day. Okay, let's see. More energy for Taurus and their love life, please. More energy, too many cards, okay. We want more energy for Taurus in their love life. More energy for Taurus in the love life. What do we see for Taurus in the love life? Okay, victory, wands, okay. So Taurus, lots of wands, lots of passion. When we think of the wand as part of the anatomy, it's obvious what we're speaking about. This card indicates the six of wands. It is victory. So part of what you've manifested in your life is recent victories on the mundane level. You have fought for causes. You may well be a lawyer or a judge or involved with the legal profession. Maybe, maybe not. But with this card, with the police officer, it is very likely that at least that resonates for some of you. So what it means is you've manifested um, a lot 
you've, you're enjoying your victory, you're taking your victory lap, it shows this also can be a card that indicates that you're ready to marry, you're ready to take the next step, you're ready to go to the next level. When we look at the Nine of Cups, this person is literally in space, indicating that they're ready for new adventures. Um, ready to take it easy and relax too. See how relaxed he is? All right. It shows that the Six of Wands also means that in your love life for the first two weeks, you could be all about conquest. You could really enjoy just having some fun and sticking your thumbs in your suspenders, so to speak, and enjoying the quality of person that you've been able to spend time with and make love with. All right, Six of Wands. It is a conquest. It can lead to a proposal for marriage on your part to the other person. Right now, we're going to keep this light. So it looks like you want to enjoy yourself physically and find someone with whom you totally enjoy spending time and making love, of course. All right. So let's see. Energy and Taurus love life. Energy and Taurus is love life. More energy in Taurus's love life. All right, let's see. Nine of coins. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take these cards uh, because it resonates with the reading. It shows a star card here. You are looking for someone with star quality. You have star quality in the intellectual arena. You are looking for someone um, to fulfill your hopes and dreams for love that will that you can share a spiritual relationship, something that's grounded with morality and is uh, not traditional. You can be a free spirit here. There's a lot of Aquarian energy here. So it shows that you will define what you want with another person, but you need to be with a person who's beautiful on the inside as well as on the outside. So it's a beautiful energy, but look at how sexy, ripped abs, loving it. Kind of reminds me of this card. So it shows that you're looking for an attractive person, but also one with a really good heart, a really good strong spiritual core. All right, it shows that again, you are searching for the truth. <clears throat> The Ace of Swords means that you will tolerate no foolishness. You, are, you will cut people out of your life if they bring chaos into your life. You are also looking for a person who has their own abundance, somebody who has been able to uh, produce something good in their life. Uh, you want to see someone who is abundant on their own. This is a person who is only missing one more pentacle to have a very happy legacy marriage. The Nine of Pentacles is a person who is enjoying life. They have all the good things. They have a bird on their shoulder and they're in their beautiful garden. So you're looking for an equal. You know, it looks like you are looking for an equal in terms of uh, long-term. Short-term, you're looking for fun. So let's see what we have here so next what I you know what I like to do is to draw from the Oracle cards and this is the wisdom of the Oracle and it gives us the energy that you will begin and end the month 